classes. Today we are learning how to write a Roman number for Hindu Arabic numerals. So let's begin with the question. Now the question is write the Roman number for the following. The first number is 17. I am going to break this number 17 into a combination for which we have basic symbols in Roman numerals. So I write 17 as 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. Do we have a symbol for 10, 5, 1? Yes, we do have symbols for 10, 5 and 1 in Roman numerals. So for 10 we have the symbol X. For 5 we have the symbol V. And for 1 the symbol is I. And as there are 2 1's so I am putting 2 I's. So the Roman numeral for 17 is this. Now we move to the second part. It is 69. Again we are going to break this number. So I write here 50. Plus 10 and if I write plus 10 that would make it 70 but we need 69. So can I write it as 10 minus 1. So the symbol for 50 is L. The symbol for 10 is X. And the symbol for 10 minus 1 is. I will write the symbol X and before that on the left side. I put the symbol for 1, that is I. So, the Roman numeral for 69 is LXIX. -X. Now, look at 82. 82 can be written as 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1. Am I right? The total of this will be equal to 82. Now we know what is the symbol for 50. It is L. The symbol for 10 is X. So three times a symbol can be repeated. So that's why I have written X three times. Now we have two ones. So I write I and I. So it is equal to 82 now. Move to the next number. This is 121. And 121 can be broken in this manner. 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1. What is the symbol for 100? It is C. For 10 we have the symbol X. So 2 times I am going to write X on the right side as we are going to add these. And 1 time I will be writing the symbol for 1 which is I. So, this is how we write 121 in Roman numerals. Next one is 270. So, 270 can be broken as 100 plus 100 plus 50 plus 10 and plus 10. So, what is the symbol for 100 everybody? It is C. So, two times I am going to write C. Then one time I am going to write the symbol for 50 which is L and two times I am going to write the symbol for 10 which is X. So this is how we write 270 in Roman numeral. Now let's write the Roman numeral for 426. You all are aware a symbol can't be repeated more than three times. So if I write 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 that means I am adding 100 four times. So that's not feasible. So what am I going to do? I am going to write the symbol for 500. And from this 500 I am going to subtract 100. So this will give me what? 400. Now what are we left with? 26. Now 26 can be broken as 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1. So what is the symbol for 500? It is D. From this D, I am going to subtract the symbol for 100, which is C. And when I am subtracting, I should write it on the left of the bigger value. So C, D and for these tens, the symbol is X. So I write it two times. For 5, the symbol is V and for 1, the symbol is I. So this is how we are going to write 426. 
The next number is 623. So 600 can be broken as 500 plus 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3 can be written as 1 plus 1 plus 1. So what is the symbol for 500? It is D. Symbol for 100 is C. Symbol for 10 is X. So there are two tens. I am required to put X two times. There are three ones. So the symbol for 1 is I. I am going to write I three times. Now move to the next example. This is 1302. So 1302 can be broken as 1000 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. Now plus 2. 2 can be written as 1 plus 1. The symbol for 1000 is M. For 100 the symbol is C. There are 300. So I am going to write C 3 times. And there are 2 ones. The symbol for 1 is I. So I am going to write I 2 times. 1872 can be broken like this. I write 1000 plus 500 plus 3 times I write 100 which will make the total as 1800. Now 72 is left. So I write 72 as 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1. So let's write the symbol for all these. For 1000 the symbol is N. For 500 the symbol is D. For 100 three times we have written the symbol is C. So I write C three times. Then we have 50. The symbol for 50 is L. The symbol for 10 is X. There are two tens. So I will be writing X two times. And the symbol for 1 is I. So I am going to write I two times. So this is how we are going to write the number 1872 in Roman numerals. The next number is 2242. Let's see how this number can be broken. So I write 1000 plus 1000. Now we have 2200 more. So 100 plus 100. Now what are we left with? 42. But I cannot write 10 4 times as a symbol cannot be repeated more than 3 times. So what am I going to do? From 50 I will be subtracting 10 which will get me 40 and then I am going to add 2. So 1 plus 1. Let's write the symbol for these. For 1000 the symbol is M. So 2 times I write M. Then 2 times I write C as the symbol for 100 is C. Now from 50 we are required to subtract 10. So I should write this symbol for 10x here. Then I write the symbol for 50 which is L. Now when this x is written on the left of this greater number which is 50. That means from 50 we are subtracting 10. Now I write this symbol for 1 which is I. So 1 is added 2 times. So I write I 2 times. So students, this is how we write the Roman numerals for the Hindu Arabic numbers. I feel you have understood this concept but don't forget to practice it on your own. So good luck and I hope that all of you will join me in my next video also.